What is up guys, Jarv here back today on Planet Destiny. It is Friday and we have a massive crowd over here in the tower because if you can see him, Zer is here. We are in the tower once again this week. You'll find us over in the hangar in the far side of the room. Be sure to check, check out the crowd. All right, let's have a look and see what goodies he's got for us this week then. All right, we'll start off here as we always do. So this contains a new exotic if any remain to be collected. Otherwise, it contains a random piece of exotic armor instead. And if you're collecting higher stat rolls, then they have a potential chance to drop higher than the collection stat. So definitely worth trying if you're looking for a higher stat roll on some exotic armor. As for the weapon of the week, we've got the Huckleberry, the exotic submachine gun. Ride the ball so it increases the rate of fire and recoil while you're holding down the trigger. Kills with the weapon, reload a partial, sorry, partial part of the magazine. Uh, the actual catalyst is actually top tier because it actually refunds the entire magazine. Uh, so it's definitely an, a slept on SMG. You can effectively just hold down the trigger when you have the catalyst. So definitely don't sleep on this, guys, especially if you have the catalyst. Be sure to get that done and take full advantage of what the Huckleberry has to offer. All right, Knucklehead Radar then. We've got the Void Affinity this week, which you can change. We've got 62 stats. So we've got the highest stat being mobility and then heavily weighted towards resilience and intellect. So not terrible, but obviously the high resilience is not ideal. Upgraded sensor packs. It provides radar while you're aiming. Enhances your radar resolution while you're crouched. I only really see these inside the Crucible, and I don't jump in Crucible a great deal. But that being said, this gets overshadowed by other helmets, things like the Mask of Backwards and things like that, which offer additional mobility uh, and really catch your opponents out. But nevertheless, 62 isn't a terrible stat roll. I've had worse rolls from GM, so definitely add these to your collection if you're a hunter and you haven't got them already. The Antius Wards are back, so we've got the Void Affinity again. Reflective vents to improve slide and sliding after sprinting for a short time will reflect incoming projectiles. A huge 65 stat and very well distributed this week. Mobility, recovery and intellect. So very well distributed there for you Titans. Um, haven't really seen these a great deal now since their adjustment. They're not as strong as they were before. No, no ornaments to spruce these up a little bit and they don't shade particularly well either. So... If, it, if fashion game is your thing, then you probably want to pass on these. But if you want to try them out in Crucible and try something a little bit different, because uh, these haven't been used a great deal more recently, then definitely worth adding these to your collection. These were added back in Forsaken. Right, and also adding back in Forsaken, we've got the Chromatic Fire for you Warlocks. Void Affinity again, so Void Affinities across the board. Crystalline Transistor, so when your light subclass is equipped, position final blows with your kinetic weapon will create an element explosion, sorry, in the elements of your subclass i completely butchered that but you understand what i mean so we've got the 62 stat resilience recovery and discipline are the weighted stats and so not well distributed 62 stat is not the highest stat roll either but that being said it's still much better than the collection set in the uh, in the collection and it actually has one of the best armor ornaments uh, on chess pieces in my opinion in destiny 2 so if you want to look cool and you like to make things explode a lot especially inside pve then definitely uh Pick these up and then uh, give them a try. There we go. That is a look at Zer. Trials is back as well. It's on Dead Cliffs, I think. So I'll be covering a full Trials breakdown of all the loot over on my personal channel. So keep an eye out for that. If you've enjoyed this video, though, be sure to leave a comment and rating down below. And remember to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys. And I will catch you all again very soon.